do you uh, operate under the notion that the principal uh, impetus for your work is to go after a relatively narrow group of people who abuse consumers? Or do you think that there is a broad propensity without uh, the work that you're doing for the entire industry to exploit, take advantage, hurt consumers? In virtually every marketplace, there are some players, some participants, who are willing to bend the rules and push the envelope to get an advantage and hope and expect that they won't get caught and they'll be able to do that. And I'd say in the debt collection market, for example, there are people who do that. They will harass and abuse and oppress consumers just to squeeze payments out of them and, and hope and expect that if anybody ever tries to hold them accountable, they'll be able to, to you know, weasel out of it somehow. Uh, I think in other markets, there are times where there are market dynamics that make it difficult for people. So for example, in the lead up to the crisis, when the mortgage underwriting standards were starting to deteriorate. It became very difficult for community banks and credit unions in particular who had standards that they had adhered to for years. And suddenly people were coming in asking for loans and they'd say, no, we can't make that loan, that won't work. But they knew they'd go down the street and get it from somebody else. It becomes a very difficult dynamic for them. I'm giving up market share uh -huh. or I have, to, I have to lower my standards in a kind of race to the bottom. And that's where regulation can play a part in upholding basic standards the reason I ask the question is I, I do think that some people in business bridle at the idea that Democrats in general, maybe President Obama in particular, people like you, begin with the presumption that people in business have bad motives. I don't. I don't, I don't begin with the presumption that anybody that I deal with has bad motives. Uh, and that's, that's political people. Uh, business executives, uh, people in the in the uh, nonprofit sector, uh, other colleagues in government. I just never felt that it's helpful to think about people's. Mo I assume good motives on the part of people, unless proven otherwise, and for the most part, that makes your interactions more productive. Hey there! Thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.